Hello, grandchildren. Uh, it's been a while since I talked to you guys, and I've had this problem where I keep telling myself I want to make these journal entries, and then uh, I don't do it, and then it just feels like it's been too long, and then I feel like I can't, like, because how do I catch you up on everything that's happened? I'm just going to do it. There's a lot of stuff that's happened, but uh, I'm in Hollywood now. I, I mean, okay, I don't live in Hollywood. I live in uh, Sherman Oaks in Los Angeles, but I work in Hollywood. I got in a car crash. I was sick for a really long time, and I found out that I'm allergic to wheat and cats, and I am low on vitamin D. I worked at the TV station again, and I quit. It was the first time I ever quit a job like that, uh, but I just had enough, and I didn't have any other job, and I worked in a movie theater for a few months, and then I got this job in Hollywood. I've been thinking a lot about some of the issues that I've had. Uh, I've just been literally getting sick a lot, and I've had trouble sleeping, and I also just have this problem doing these journal entries. For a lot of reasons, I feel like it's a narcissistic thing. I've, I just felt like I don't have anything worthy of saying. Like, why am I pointing a camera at my face and talking to it? I'm trying to get over this because I know that this is for you guys. And I know that if my grandfather had done this, I would love it. I, I would love being able to see what it was like when he was a kid. Is this like a, a selfless thing that I'm doing by talking to you guys and filming myself? Or is it a narcissistic thing. I, d I don't know. Anyway, I'm trying not to think about it a lot because um, uh, it just makes me feel bad. I think the theme of this is trying to be better. I d don't want to eat as bad. I want to get more sleep. I want to be healthier and I want to actually do these journals every week like I promised even though I literally haven't in like a year and a half. I also want to feel less terrible when I don't do it. I haven't talked to you guys since I was in Australia and that feels like so long ago. And I feel terrible about it. It ends up being this thing where then I hate myself more because I'm not doing the thing that I promised you guys to do. But then when I do it, I feel like selfish and narcissistic and like, I need a camera on me. And I don't know, it's just this confusing uh, paradox. Like no matter what I do, I feel bad about it. And I wanna, I don't know how, but I wanna stop doing that, so. This is me trying. I work at a visual effects company uh, called Ingenuity Studios, and I work so much, very frequently 10 to 12 hour days. I'm driving for an hour or more every day just to go to and from work, and I have this massive pile of things that I'm trying to do. I have two films from film school that I haven't actually finished yet, despite being like two years since film school. So I come home and I'm trying to work on those, and not every week I'm able to actually uh, do a journal. Like, I don't want this to just be one of those videos where I only talk about wanting to be better. Uh, I want to talk about something else. Working in Hollywood, it's interesting because that's like everyone's goal. It just feels like everyone's set on getting a job in Hollywood or directing or whatever. And I'm not doing anything like that. I am a visual effects editor. I don't even know how to explain what my job is to you guys, honestly. And the most interesting thing is that Everyone thinks that it's incredible, like working in Hollywood, and that's like a goal that everyone sets. I've gotten to work on a lot of TV shows that are pretty big, and a lot of movies that have been in theaters. It doesn't feel like I actually did anything. I can be responsible for finishing off a huge music video, like by Taylor Swift or Billie Eilish. Like, I, I can be essentially the last person that touches it. I didn't make it, still. <laughs> like, I didn't actually make it, I can't say that I edited it because I'm like online editing, which again, it's its own like weird, complicated thing that has to happen. Even if you're doing, you're directly doing visual effects on something, you're, you're usually in such a big company that everything's divided up into like these departments. If you're working on Transformers, you're not just making the giant robots. There's a bunch of departments. So there's a bunch of people that are like modeling the robots. And if it's like Transformers, there's, hundred people that are working on a single robot. So you can't even say that you modeled the robot and then you don't even get to animate it. There's going to be another department of animators and they're animating it. Um, and then there's going to be another group of people that are compositors that they're going to be like melding the 3D stuff in with the, the real live footage. And it's just like divided into all of these little parts and even all of those little parts are shared by a ton of different people. Even if you have an important job, it doesn't feel like you get to claim ownership of your work.
I don't want to. I don't want to make it seem like I don't appreciate it. It's exciting because I get to drive to work and I drive across Hollywood Boulevard every single day. Yes, I guess the best way of putting it is working in Hollywood is exciting, but it doesn't feel like it means anything. Unfortunately, working in Hollywood was not an end goal for me. Like my, my dream was not like, I wanna move to Hollywood. Uh, there's a reason I went to Australia to go to film school, even though I lived in California. Here's the exciting thing. I've decided that I wanna make a movie. Um, and I don't know what the movie's gonna be yet. Everyone talks about making movies, but then they never actually do it. And it's kind of scary, actually. I don't want to just talk about it for the rest of my life and never actually have made anything. The, the thing is, it's easy to, to discourage yourself from doing it because so many people set up rules for themselves that they need a certain budget and they need to find investors. Like, look at my face. I look like I'm 15. Uh, I'm not going to convince anyone to give me a million dollars to make something. Fortunately, uh, there have been so many filmmakers that have succeeded by making their own thing with their own money. Uh, Robert Rodriguez made a film, I think it was like for $7,000. He just made this movie on his own. Now he's a relatively well-known director. There is this other guy named Gareth Edwards that made Monsters. It's a pretty good movie and he made it, I think, for $14,000, I think. I was thinking about this a lot and I just set a goal that in the, in the year 2022, it's 2020 right now, and the year 2022, I will have saved up $20,000 and I will make a movie. I don't know what that movie is going to be yet. I'm trying to eat as cheaply as possible and I don't go out a lot. I don't drink. I don't do a lot of expensive stuff. I mostly just work a lot and then I come home and I work on stuff on my computer. Uh, and that's my life. In two years, I will hopefully be at exactly $20,000 with no extra money at all. It's weird because I feel better about this than I do about working in Hollywood. I can't overstate how exciting it is because that's what I've wanted to do for years. And I don't even care if it's good. <laughs> like that, that's the thing is I'm just, it's exciting to make something. I'm gonna tell a story. I'm gonna tell a two hour story as best as I can with pretty much no money. And that's what I wanna do. I've, my entire life I've been making little movies in my backyard. Now I'm going back to my backyard to make a movie, but this time, actually knowing what I'm doing instead of just being like a 10 year old with a, a bad camera. But I have to come up with an idea first. Anyway, grandchildren, I'm sorry that it's been so long since I've made one of these. I'm trying not to feel too bad about it. And I'm trying to just do it and I'll keep you updated on my movie. Grandchildren, hopefully I talk to you guys next week. See ya.